All right, so today I'm gonna to review my Dash Waffle Maker. This thing is an absolute dream. And so why do I love it so much? Well, it makes great waffles, but I am currently doing keto. And so I eat a lot of chaffles, which are, you know, cheese waffles or egg waffles. And the thing that is so lovely about this machine is it has the trays here on the side. You know, a lot of times with the smaller Dash uh, Waffle Makers, leaks out over the side, but this one has a nice tray that any kind of excess goes on the side. This thing is just so absolutely wonderful. It heats up in about five minutes and put the chaffles in there for five minutes and you have a perfect, you know, bread substitute, bun substitute. So I'm gonna cook some and I'll show you exactly what they look like when they come out. So I'll be back with you just as soon as the five minute heat time and the five minute cook time are up just to show you how the channels work and and it's a no mess waffle maker. I'm sure it makes great, perfect, regular waffles too. I just haven't got there yet. All right, so I'm just waiting for the light to go out. Once the green light goes out, you'll know that the, it's warmed and heat reaches temp. And then I will add the chaffle mix and we will see what happens. It's magic. All right, the timer went off, so they are all done. So we have, we have four chaffles here. A little bit of overflow went to the side. That's fine. It just wiped right off. This just gonna pull them right out of the. I didn't grease this thing uh, from when I cleaned it and put it up the last time. It, I haven't had any problem. This is pure cheese. I put extra cheese on the bottom of mine, <laughs> so that's why it's, it's a little bit of stick on it. But there we go. I'm just gonna cut those four chaffles up and make two sandwiches. And see how easy the cleanup is? I'm just going to wipe it off. It'll be ready for next time. I use no grease. That It doesn't stick. What a nice machine. Uh, so if, you, if you're wondering what it looks like, 